This program is designed to have students study the relationships between frequency and wavelength when the object producing the waves is in motion. So you start out, you have control over the speed of the object, you have the control over the speed of the wave, and you have control over the frequency. You can increase these variables in large values or small values depending on which arrows you click on. When you're ready to start, click on the start button. The plane will fly through your space at the speed of the object and the waves will move at the speed of the waves and the waves will be produced with the frequency indicated. Students can time these waves and what they would want to do is pick some spot in front of the plane and time how many waves pass that spot in a given amount of time. They could then use that to find the frequency in front of the plane. They could then repeat this procedure with the same variables and this time time the waves behind the plane. So once the plane gets to a certain point, maybe we want to focus on this very first line. We'll start our, st our timer and we'll just count the number of waves that pass that line in a given amount of time. So students can get the frequency both in front of and behind the plane. Students can also use the grid to figure out the wavelength in front of and behind the plane. Students will also be able to then go back and change the different variables so they could see what would happen if the plane was moving quicker. And they could see what happens to both wavelength and frequency. Again, they could time it and get the actual frequencies, or you could just do it as a qualitative demonstration showing how the waves begin to get closer in the front and farther in the back. Uh, students can also have the wa wave speed and object speed equal, or they could have the object actually exceed the speed of the waves. Okay, again, you can use this for um, other things also if you wanted to have the students actually measure the angle at which these waves start to pile up. They could do that also. So there's a lot of different flexibility built into this program.